ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the recipient of the Leonardo da Vinci Award for Leadership in Health and Science and tonight's honoree, Dr. Anthony Fauci. Thank you so much, Pat, for that wonderful introduction and thank all the officials and members of the National Italian American Foundation uh, for this extraordinary honor. I must say, I'm both very excited and humbled. Here is the award that was just mentioned and I will keep it in a very important place of honor in, in my office and, and thank you so much. Uh, I first wanna say, how uh, humbled and, 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 and excited I am about those extraordinary testimonials that were just given by people, some of whom I've known and worked with over the years, but others of whom I've never met, but whose art and performance and activities I've uh, valued so much over the years. Um, people who I've always felt it would be wonderful to have as friends and acquaintances, but to hear them talk to me in such a wonderful way is, is very moving to me. And I value that very, very much. Um, I also want to congratulate the uh, NIAF on their 45th uh, anniversary. I, as you heard in my discussion uh, with Pat, when she was interviewing me, I, I'm really very proud to be an Italian American. And as I often think that my grandparents on my mother and father's side, I'm sure are looking down at this, smiling with the beautiful smiles they gave to me when I was a child as I remember them. Um, as you've heard from the history, my grandfather Antonino Fauci and my grandmother Colligera Fauci, Colligera is a giveaway Sicilian name, came from Shaka at the turn of the century uh, and landed in Ellis Island and then immediately went to Little Italy and Lower Manhattan. And a few years later moved to Brooklyn where I was born. My grandparents on my mother's side, uh, Emilia Trematera and Giovanni Abbas were from Naples and they did the same thing. They came over, landed at Ellis Island, came to Lower Manhattan I think it was Elizabeth Street or Mulberry Street, one of those streets where they lived, and then came over to Brooklyn where my mother and father met, went to elementary school and high school together. And my mother and father got married literally right upon graduation from high school. So they were childhood sweethearts who got married. Uh, as I mentioned to Pat, the Italian American heritage has been really a very important part of my identity and the things that I said in that interview, I, I meant very sincerely. The warmth and the love and the caring have been things that have really guided me throughout my life. And I thank not only my parents for that, but also for the environment that the Italian American culture and neighborhood provided for me that stays with me to this very day. Um, I also want to say that even though we're celebrating right now, and this is a wonderful gala, and I'm so, so appreciative of the effort that everyone has put into this, that we, we must remember that we are facing an extraordinary challenge right now. We are in the middle of a historic pandemic. And as we go into now the middle of the cool autumn season and the cold winter season, things are going to be even more challenging. So we have to help each other, take care of each other, and encourage each other to take care of ourselves. We will get through this, I promise you. We will be having a vaccine likely by the end of this year and by the beginning of next year. My team and I have been working on that very, very intensively. I believe we will be successful. There's never a guarantee but I feel cautiously optimistic that we will get there. And when that happens, we will be on the road back to some form of normality. So please don't get discouraged by the challenges that we are having with the degree of illness and suffering that we have now experienced. 
we will get over it. I want to thank you all for being so brave uh, and, and so uh, up thinking and, and, and realizing that despite this extraordinary challenge, that we have something in front of us that we can get control over and we can end. So again, I want to thank the Italian American, the National Italian American Foundation for this wonderful honor. I will remember this evening, although it was only virtual, literally for the rest of my life. So thank you so much for this wonderful honor.